Hi everyone, hope everyone's well and safe as usual and welcome back to my channel and more importantly welcome back to Patrick Explores episode 4 and today we're doing the Henley branch. So today we're visiting four stations in between Twyford and Henley. Oh there's an Elizabeth line train coming in. The st so the stations we're visiting today are Twyford, Wargrave, Shiplake and Henley on Thames. Annoyingly for me the train I was going to get has been cancelled. The 952 has been cancelled and I just missed one the 9.34 but I'm gonna get the 10 10.02 anyway uh, surprisingly in November it is very sunny it's 11 degrees in southeast England at the moment uh, nice day uh, I don't know what's happening but I just want to say also thank you very much for the support on my videos lately the videos have been absolutely rocketing in terms of subscribers I don't know why I've gone from 45 subscribers to 62 or 61 absolutely fantastic make sure you guys if you do like this video and you do uh, like my videos make sure you leave a like right down below and comment which other stations you would like me to visit i have got loads of lists so make sure you comment down below what stations you want me to join and i hope you enjoy the video you guys remember this the original you can't sit there sir <laughs> it's amazing how they built that i'm not using that in my videos anymore i got too much hate not impressed So our first train of the day is now going to be the 10.02 to Didcot Parkway where it's going to take us the one stop along the route to Twyford. So while we're waiting for our train at Maidenhead, here's a list of just mini trains at. Twyford Railway Station is on the Great Western Main Line between London Paddington and Reading, which is served by Great Western Railway Services and Elizabeth Line Services. It is also the southern terminus of the Henley on Thames branch. The passenger numbers of Twyford Railway Station from the 2020 to 21 season was 266,000. The station cons consists of five platforms. Platform five is for Henley on Thames. Platforms four is for London Paddington and Abbeywood, and in the future, Shenfield. And platform three is for Didcot Parkway and Reading services. Facilities of Twyford Railway Station include a car park, in fact, two car parks, a ticket office, a ticket machine, bike racks, benches, lifts, vending machines, oyster card readers, cafes, and lifts, and a level crossing, which I'll show you. Right, I might be looking a bit stupid here, but January, would you classify that as a level crossing? Please leave your answers below in the comments, because I'm not sure. So we're waiting for our second train now, which will be the 10.45 to Henley on Thames, but our first stop will be Wargrave. Also at Twyford, you find these flowers, which are sort of dotted along platforms four and five, uh, which has welcome to Twyford on. Nice.
The next station is Walgrave. This is a Great Western Railway service to Henley on Thames. Walgrove Railway Station is on the line between Twyford and Henley-on-Thames, served by Great Western Railway with one platform. The passenger numbers of Walgrove Railway Station from the 2020 to 21 season was 16,200. Facilities of Walgrave Railway Station include a car park, a ticket machine, a waiting shelter, a bike rack, bins, uh, benches, grit box and a ticket machine. The trains are every half an hour on this line, so the, the, the times are at 07 and 37 going towards Twyford, which is that way, and, uh, and uh, 49 and 19 going that way. Also at Wargrove Railway Station, there is an onward travel information. So Wargrove Railway Station is here. It's a little bit of a walk from the actual village here. It's beyond a 10 minute walk. That's quite big. That's pretty bad. There is also a help point. There is also a ramp. I've noticed that most of the stations on the Great Western Mainland do have one of these, which is really good for people. Uh, there is also some flower boxes as well. Just for your notices, I can't don't think you could see this one, but this is where you would come if you had a rail replacement bus. There's the station. Here's the car park. Oh, the sun's all over the place. And um, yeah, this is where you'd come uh, for the rail replacement bus. Uh, also down here, no smoking or vaping. There is obviously there is also CCTV down here. The station is significantly away down the road. It's down there. A uh, massive Wargrove sign and parking holders. So that's, that's private down there. And coming down here, I'm just going for a walk. I've got 30 minutes here. Down there, that is the road which you lead towards the station. I'm not going to go down there so I can get more shots. Uh, there are also sort of forest there. So if you're looking for a walk. There's a forest there uh, as well. So we're waiting for our next train, which will be the 1119 Great Western Railway service to Henley on Thames. And our next stop is going to be Ship Lake. Also at Wargrove Station, uh, it's about our railway heritage. It's really interesting. So this station was formed in, so it used to be called the Wargrove Railway Use Group, how it all began. Uh, WUG was formed in November 2014 on at a Saturday morning on the Pasio Bacon Sandwich meeting or of eight so fed up regular users trains out of Wargrave. So this is all about the info of how Wargrave station actually started. There's me. Hello. This is actually how the station started. It's really interesting. If you ever come to Wargrave station, come into the uh, the other uh, waiting room and you can read all about it. Also, I've never seen this before. The news. And also in a, in and around our village. Really interesting. There's some, some sort of random newspaper there, which I'm not going to read because I'm not interested. But a re it's also very, it's a very lonely station. It's really nice, but it's very lonely. It's sort of in the middle of nowhere. But either way, really nice station. That concludes my review of Wargrave.
Ship Lake Railway Station is on the branch line between Twyford and Henley-on-Thames, served by Great Western Railway with one platform. The passenger numbers of Ship Lake Railway Station from the 2020 to 21 season was 15,028. Facilities of Ship Lake Railway Station include a car park, a ticket machine, a onward tram for information, a timetable, a help point, a dock matrix indicator, benches, bins, bike storage and a waiting shelter and a level crossing. The station is situated on the Thames Path which runs between anywhere on the Thames basically but mainly between in this area Henley on Thames and Shiplake. Also at Shiplake quite clearly there used to be a second platform which used to, which used to run here you can see down there I'll just zoom in you see down there there used to be another platform and they've now made this I think into a I'll just check but I think they've now made this into a um into a uh, yeah they've made this into like a step for access so this is another entrance to the station here and there's a path that goes down there which goes towards somewhere so used to be a second platform at Ship Lake fun fact also at Ship Lake railway station there are some lovely flower beds here that you can find there's quite a lot of them uh, there's some local information over here there's a bench there's a help point there's a ticket machine like i said uh, i don't know what that's for there's a lovely sign over there that just says ship i mean that is lovely when you see it that's absolutely wonderful so we're waiting for our next train which will be the 1152 to henley on thames and the next station on our journey is henley on thames which is the final station of this exploring episode Thames Railway Station is the northern terminus of the Henley on Thames branch, served by Great Western Railway, which has one platform. The passenger numbers of Henley on Thames Railway Station from the 2020 to 21 season was 157,000 passengers. Facilities of Henley on Thames Railway Station include a car park, a ticket office, a ticket machine, an Amazon package uh, receiver, a help point, a, a bike rack vending machines, benches, waiting shelters, a contactless card reader, dock matrix indicators and a bus terminal. A fun fact that you might not have known about the Henley branch is that, is that it's also called the regatta line. I think it's called the regatta line because of the Henley regatta that happens once every year which is on the Thames. I'm not going to the Thames because my train's actually in a few minutes so that is that's why the station's called the regatta line I guess and also the platform is it's considerably long it's all right. Uh, also, there's zone five, zone four, zone three, to zone two, zone one as well. That is Henley on Thames. Also, right next to Henley on Thames railway station, there's a playground for youngsters. And also, I don't know if you can see it, there is the River and Rowing Museum as well. So if children, if adults are watching this and you have children, this is a great playground. I've been here loads of time. There's a very nice cafe which serves hot drinks and lunch as well. So we're now waiting for our final train, which will be the 12.30, which will take us back to Twyford. Very busy Henley Station. A lot of people got off the train because it was so busy I wasn't really able to film. But anyways. Railway service to Twyford. <laughs> 